So we're doing um, the bonus episode of um, Portrait of Ruin. And I'm having a lot of fun with Richter. <laughs> and we're gonna, you know, see how this goes. We're gonna see if we can beat this. I mean, to be honest, I still don't really know what the, like, end goal of this mode is. I just know that we're Richter, and we can do stuff. But we got the gear, right? So I think that's one thing we had to come here for. Unless you don't need the gear. I mean, Richter is just so OP, he can do, like, whatever he wants. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> The noise that Rector makes is freaking great. Bro, can you stop getting stuck? I hate this place for a reason, dude. Like, this place is not very fun. Um, oh yeah, let me switch my sub weapons real quick. We can kill the slimes with the funny, the funny axe. Freaking, freaking clowns, bro. Uh, I'm almost dead already. Wow, oh, MP max. You know what? I'm gonna go back and save, actually. Because uh, this is just ridiculous. I took way too much freaking damage. So, yeah, uh, my goal is just to try and beat Richter mode tonight, because I'd have to do another episode of this. So, I should try and push myself to just keep going. Unfortunately, I don't have any other teleporters in this place, so we're kind of stuck into going this way. <laughs> and also, we're kind of stuck into getting hit multiple times by these stupid axes. Because for some reason, there's a ceiling here, which makes no fucking sense. Like, seriously, who put that there? I was like, hang on a second, did they change the map? I don't think they did. I'm just kind of go. I'm kind of going crazy here. Actually, no, I, I'm not going crazy. They did change the map. They make you take a very specific route now. At least I'm pretty sure. Alright, go go get him, Maria. Go get him. What the fuck did that slime just do? Alright, get it. Get, get the enemy. Get, get it, Maria. Come on. Okay, I guess she doesn't want to kill the slime. <laughs> Maria refuses. Yeah, there we go. Level up. So we had, we had a pretty good episode of, um... We had a pretty good episode of Jackbox today. Which I'm pretty happy with. And, uh, I'm apparently actually gonna start editing my Jackbox videos from now on. Just because of the fact that, um... You know, it, it, it's kind of boring to just sit there for like five minutes while we just, you know, come up with answers and shit. Nobody wants to watch that crap. So, from now on, we're gonna start- I'm gonna start editing them and, you know, make them a little bit more entertaining to watch. And I wish I could stop freaking getting comboed by the damn, uh, the damn, uh, things. The swinging blades, or whatever you want to call them. Now, unfortunately, there's no save point for a long time. Which kind of scare- which kind of worries me. I don't see anywhere where there's a, um, save point. Actually, wait. HP up. That's just, that's just what they needed. Who needs save points? You can just get HP ups. <laughs> and I think that's just another part of the map. Okay. So here's a save point that I missed out on. Yeah, like, the incomplete- the, like, the entire top left of the map is just gone. For some reason. I mean, they probably cut out all the unnecessary parts. <laughs> I 
All right, well, now I can afford to take a few hits, I suppose. Wait, hang on a second. I can't go here either. Oh, wait, I'm right. I'm supposed to go down here. I think most of the map is open. It's just some parts have been cut off. <laughs> wow, that, that guy really just came out of nowhere, huh? Yeah, I'm not taking my chances. Those things are dangerous. They can't be left alone. Oh yeah, alright. Keep forgetting I can infinite jump. <laughs> I need to remember that. This is making me want to play Rondo Blood more, though. Because, well, I mean, I was gonna play... I was thinking about playing, um... What's it called? Dracula X Chronicles, but I don't know, that one seemed, I, I played a little bit of it, and it just felt very lifeless, <laughs> because, like, it's PSP 3D models, which is, like, probably some of the worst models out there next to, well, actually, I say it's way more lifeless than PS1, because by PS1, because PS1 at least has charming models, because, you know, you know, because of the hardware that it's on. Oh, fuck that. I'm not dealing with that shit. Also, apparently Richter has a bunch of button combinations, but who's actually going to, like, use those? Like, like I, I think, um... I mean, maybe some people use them, but I know I'm not going to use them. Just because, like, it's... Kind of annoying to do, especially in the heat of combat. Like, there's there's some crazy shit where you have to like press like the whole control pad or something, and then you have to do like, and then you gotta do another button press, and then it'll decide to work. <laughs> Is there anything even worth? Oh yeah, this just takes me back. Okay, and then this is the teleporter that I missed. Oh, yeah, another thing is you can't check your percentage. You can't check your completion in Richter mode, so... Honestly, it's probably not even worth it to try and complete uh, Richter mode 100%. Because... You know, where the hell are you gonna go? Or how the hell are you gonna check your percentage without going back to the main menu? You just can't. No, that, that's the neat part, you don't. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is this map also is this map also changed? I don't know. See, I never really noticed it until like I went I got to um Ow. Until the World of Fools. And that they, they changed the layout a bit. It's a condensed it is a condensed playthrough after all. Those guys are very weird to hit. Oh yeah, I believe if I'm if I time it just right, I can get in there. Maybe. I'll think. I'll see if I can get through there. Cool. <laughs> I I love the the freaking noise Richter makes. He's just cool. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Okay. Useless room. Oh, yes, I can! I can get through there! See? Big brain moment right there. That was a really well-timed slide kick. So, I don't think you're normally supposed to get in that way, but I did a little funny thing that we like to call cheese in the industry. Cheese in the industry. I believe this is a save, yep. I don't even think you can check your percentage at the save points. This is a teleporter, and this is the next world, I think. Yeah. Did I even finish the desert world? I don't remember. I think- oh yeah, I did. I think it's because- because Maria carried it. <laughs> Anything up here? No.
Look at that damage. <laughs> Maria's dunk did this stuff. Pretty good. Not gonna lie, now it's kind of making me... You know what else it's making me want to do? It's making me want to play the freaking Sega Saturn port of... Uh, freaking Symphony of the Night, man. Even though I know the Sega Saturn emulator isn't that great, but... Man. Well, here's the thing. I have to play... I'd probably play it on my own or something, or maybe find, like, a complete save file, because I want to do the Maria mode. Because that actually seems kind of interesting. Also, um... Let me check out this path first. Whoa. Oh shit, I'm cursed. And I can't do shit about that either. Well, hang on, Maria doesn't disappear when you're cursed? Huh. She's, so she's actually more OP than... I guess to be fair, you don't have a way of curing it, so it'd be pretty stupid. Okay, now I'm not cursed. To be fair, I don't use my MP all that much anyway. Okay, well now I know what the where the correct way is. So we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of explore. Oh no, she does despawn. She didn't despawn that one time though. Yeah, Maria. Maria's just a fun little buddy to have around. Ooh. Oh, tree golem. Oh yeah, right, there's literally nothing in this room. Nothing! Literally nothing. Oh, there's an MP up here. I'm really bad at dodging those, uh, frickin' bees. There we go. No beside no no point in destroying those besides getting some extra experience. Oh yeah, we got to kill big titty witches again, hell yeah. My favorite pastime. We got a free save point. You know, save points in Richter mode are a godsend because you don't have no healing items. So, the states actually feel more tense. Actually, you know what it does feel like? It feels like, um... It feels like, uh, playing Circle of the Moon. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Circle of the Moon be like. Yeah, I hear witch. They turn into cats when they die. <laughs> Has anybody like that ass actually got hit by those witches anyway? I don't think there's anything in here. There's another dead end, I think. Yep. Wait, hang on. No, this goes somewhere. This actually does go somewhere. I mean, hey, if there's another HP up or something, I'd be cool with that. And then down here, we have... I think this is the way forward. Never mind, there's a dead end. There's gonna be a lot of those in Wrecker mode. Good old, good old Wrecker. You know, our favorite character. We're actually supposed to go down. Alright, big titty witches, but I gotta get rid of you to progress. You know what? What's with them always making the making the, the witches blonde? There's some there's something specific. There's just some specific meaning behind blonde witches or something that I don't know about. Or is that just you know? Is this, or is that just a popular thing? I don't know. I feel like I would know, but I don't. But yeah, I will complain because blonde witches are my favorite kind. 
what's not my favorite is getting spot swarm swarmed by freaking birds. That's not fun. Hmm. Man, the uh, I swear the Mario Party server, it just gets way more annoying every day. <laughs> just because it's so we're getting so close to um. We're getting so close to the launch of Jamboree that they're just, they're like, they're acting like 10 year olds, really. It's honestly pretty crazy. Oh yeah, the tombstone. Well, and because they're, they're like trolling everybody, thinking I'm like, oh, by the way, I got, a, I got an early copy. <laughs> and I'm like... I don't think Jamboree would leak that early, you know. I'm expecting Jamboree to leak like a week early. Obviously, this is gonna be this is probably gonna be outdated uh, talk anyway by the time this goes up. But I feel like, um, you know, I think a good a good like the good middle number is like a week, a week for uh, like the game will, like leaks a week before it comes out, which is roughly what I'm thinking. I mean, I, I have some experience now because I was a part of the, uh, I was like, you know, following TTYD remake leaks and stuff. And I know for a fact it got leaked like, uh, I don't know, I want to say like four days early. But I didn't get my early copy until like a day before the game came out. <laughs> so... Yeah, sometimes, you know, depending on where you live, you might get, like, earlier... You might get copies early some places, and other times, no. So, it really depends. Is there anything even up here? <laughs> oh! There's nothing up here, bro. It's just freaking birds. That's it, it's just bird ups. I mean, I'm hoping I get my- I'm hoping I get a copy earlier than, like, a day this time. Ideally, I'm hoping- uh, I'm hoping- um, hoping. <laughs> I'm expecting the 10th to be, like, around when, you know, we start getting word of leaks and stuff. Also, that thing is- that thing is not worth killing. I'm almost dead. <laughs> and, uh, no save points? Gotta be a little more careful now. Dang it, Cackle Demon! Okay, I'm not gonna bother with those freaking. What do you even? What do you even call those things? Those lipstick plants? Oh, yeah, I think they're called like man eaters or something. I'm not gonna bother with them. Man eaters are not worth fucking around with. And they're like, um, I feel like there's a potion up in here or something. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. I only got 92 HP. Yeah, those frogs really, they die really quickly, actually. <laughs> oh, hell no, nah, bro. Actually, wait, I can just do this. <laughs> There we go. Okay, but well, this just take me back here. I mean, unless there's something over here. I don't... I can't imagine there's anything over here. No. See, and I'm getting greedy and thinking there's gonna be potions and stuff. Alright, I gotta skip all this. Because I'm about to die. <laughs> okay, that's the boss. And then there's a save over here. Well, keep in mind, this is the last painting that you do before you um, fight the sisters, I think, normally. Oh, yeah. 
I might also check out the sisters. Don't think I'll do a full playthrough of them, but I might check them out. It's kind of, it kind of suffers from uh, Trish and Lady Syndrome in the Devil May Cry 4. Where, um... They're just kind of an, another bonus on top of, like, already having Virgil as a playable character and him being, like, the OP fun way to play the game. Maria is, uh... Kind of, um, she's kind of, uh, not doing too good here. Oh yeah, so one thing I forgot is you can actually infinitely jump in the water. <laughs> I don't think Maria's gonna be able to do much in this fight. Unless I can, um, I was gonna say, I was gonna switch out her sub-weapon. We got Kitty. We got Turtle, which doesn't do anything. And whatever this green one is. Man, he's taking way too much damage. There we go. Okay, switch back. Oh yeah, the uh, the cross is gonna be very helpful for this. Ooh, he's taking too much damage. Stop. I can't heal, so I have to kind of play a little safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. It's trying to give me Circle of the Moon vibes, honestly, because... Again, limited healing items. I think, honestly, Castlevania games can just- they just benefit way more from having no potions. Like, having limited- have it, not having a shop actually makes the game more fun in a way, because you're limited to what potions, or how many, like, healing items you can use. In all the- in every game past Circle of the, the Moon, it has a shop, and you can just buy, like, a bajillion potions anytime you go there. I know, I know you don't have to, but the fact that it's an option means, you know, of course I'm going to exploit it. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. So I got around to watching Gnarly's Encyclopedia Only Run the other night. And, uh... That was pretty fun. You know, it was pretty entertaining. Also, I don't know if I ever came in this room. <laughs> I don't think there's even anything up there, anyway. But yeah, um... It, it, it really showed me, like, how bad the, um... How bad that weapon is, because it has no range. And it makes some bosses actually impossible. <laughs> Which, uh, that's also kind of funny to think about. Kinda glad I'm not doing that challenge. Also, one other thing I'm really glad about is I'm glad I'm not doing a hard mode run of this game. Because apparently, hard mode, all it does is it locks you to level 1. Which is really dumb. Like, why would- I don't know. I know there's some people out there who are crazy enough to do it, but why would you ever want to do a level 1 challenge of this game? Well, no, I, I know why, obviously. But also, also, <laughs> I, for I forgot Stella was here, honestly. I was supposed to fight her a long time ago. <laughs> nope. Shit. Ooh. Come on, Wrecker, you gotta survive. You gonna find you gonna shoot those at me? <laughs> okay, I know I know he doesn't sound like that, but it's kind of funny. Alright, let's not accidentally pick the Jonathan run. Oh. 
I forgot to save after leaving this place. Whoops. Guess I got a little... Well, I did, I kind of forgot Stella was in there. <laughs> so, I mean, that's on me, I guess. I mean, we could totally beat her. She's not hard. Also, apparently, um... Apparently, the vampire killer is not the best weapon. I'd be curious what is actually the best weapon. Uh, let's look some up. What is the most broken weapon in Portrait of Ruin? Um... The Royal Sword. Hmm. The Royal Sword is a holy based great sword. It has 84 attack and boosts his other stats by 6. Um it's a it's a quest item. Well, how much does the vampire killer do? Hmm. I mean, that's a pretty good weapon, though. Um... There's also the Holy Claymore. Okay, how'd I look that one up, too? Let's see. Holy Claymore. The Holy Claymore is a great sword, does 120 damage. And will only appear in Vince's shop after the player accumulates 25,000 shop points? What the fuck are shop points? <laughs> okay, that's another one of the greatest weapons. Interesting. So there are, a lot, there are a lot of, like, best weapons in the game, quote unquote, but the method to unlock those ones are really stupid. Because you have to, um... Also, I never went over here. This takes me to the next area in the game. Yeah, you have, to do a, you have to do a lot of, like, really stupid stuff to unlock, um, the best weapons. Like, nobody's gonna want to do the fucking wind, uh, quests, obviously. Nobody likes doing those. And if you do, then you're lying. Because <laughs> I, I, I hated, though, I hated doing half of those. Apparently there's another one you can... Apparently there's another quest... ...where you have to have, um, zero money? Exactly? Yeah, that, that attack's kind of a... That attack's kind of a bitch. Yeah, you just duck under that and... It's, it's way better if you duck. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just run away from that. Bruh. Oh, doing the Crescent Moons again? Alright. Oh, the frickin' moon is still there, bro. <laughs> Am I gonna die again? Okay. Got her. Okay. Yeah, again, another challenging battle under the, um... Under the Richter conditions. Oh, she, she's just gone. And she also does not give me a save. Well, that's not very cool of her. Why would she not give me a... Why would she not give me a heal, bro? Now I gotta go heal myself? Then again, there's a lot of map I haven't covered yet. I kind of want to uncover the map again. It's fun. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. If, bro, if I died to that stupid imp, it would have been the lamest way. Oh. Apparently, I have the ability to jump off Maria's head. I can footstool my, um... Actually, what is the relation between Maria and Richter? I always forget. Are they, like, best friends or something? 
I keep forgetting. Also, I keep I don't know why I wasn't just doing that. <laughs> I think I think they are friends. Alright, I'm not gonna go up there just yet. I'm gonna keep going this path. I don't know why there's just a random imp there. Considering there's no enemies in this hallway or in the like vertical place. Well, hey, maybe if I play Rondo of Blood, I'll actually get to figure out what their relation is. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like where you fight death, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's go down. Cool. We'll go down first, and then we'll worry about um, that later. Wow, I actually got hit by the skeleton gun, man. Okay, this is, we're in here now. Oh, there, there's the bulldogs. Yeah, so I never ended up going over here either. There's just some maids. I mean, clearing out this part of the map will make me feel better, so I'm just doing that. Okay. <laughs> Low, they have vacuum cleaners. Whoa. Okay, so now the map is mostly filled out. Oh, hey, Bulldog. Actually, a question, is that actually supposed to be a Bulldog? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> it's a demonic dog. Well, good enough, right? Um, it says, he's a mighty president of hell who commands 36 legion of demons. He's the author and captain of manslaughter and bloodshed, tells all things past and to come, knows all sciences, gains the mind and love of friends and foes, causing love and love them if desired. Incites homicides and can make a man invis inv invisible. He's depicted as a dog with the wings of a, of a griffin. And he's only in, um... He's in Portrait of Ruin and Har Harmony of Despair. Wait, which one's Harmony of Despair? <laughs> oh, that's the fucking Xbox game. Ah. Is that game- is this game any good? Hmm. Kinda makes me wonder. Hmm. But apparently most of it is not online anymore. Um... Apparently it is backwards compatible on... the Xbox One. What about Xbox Series X? Is this game still online? Hmm. I don't know, but it sounds interesting. It has, it has a lot of characters too. It's got uh, it's got Soma Cruz, Alucard, Jonathan, Charlotte, and uh, Shinoa, who is uh, the character from the next game that I gotta play, uh, Order of Ecclesia. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's her name. <laughs> I think um. She's like the first, like, actually female protagonist. Like, I mean, well, I mean, I guess technically Charlotte's also a female protagonist, but she's tagged along, she's kind of tagged along with, um, you know, Jonathan, so I don't know if I should count that or not. I'll count it, though, because I like Charlotte. <laughs> I, did a, I did most of my playthrough with her. <laughs> And according according to Gnarly, right, you have to um you have to switch to Jonathan to do Sanctuary on the t on the sisters, but I didn't do that. So does that mean I, I did a, does that mean I, does that mean I did a pro gamer move by doing it without switching characters? <laughs> How the fuck do you get in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. 
You gotta do like a dash into the into the loading zone. All right, cool. Oh, why are there spikes there? Hey, another HP up. It's like this game was built with anti um anti air in mind. All right, fuck you, guy, bond guy here. I ain't dealing with your sorry ass. That was a lot of clocks that I can just break. I think my favorite thing about the vampire killer, at least in this game, is, um, whoa. Yo, I just did, like, an input by accident. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, bro. I did, I did the input again. This, this guy's gotta go. No! The fucking... The stupid Medusa heads cucked me, bro. Okay, well, I guess we gotta do that. All that bullshit again. Okay, at least I know where to go this time. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. The time. It's not that bad. See, that's the thing, if you go too high up, you hit the spikes. And that's bad news, Betsy. Alright, should I deal with that? See, he shoots the fireballs at an awkward angle, I don't feel like dealing with that. Oh, the frickin' spikes again, dude. Kill, kill this guy first. I keep doing the dash when breaking out. So I'm mashing everything on my stick. It feels like there's more Medusa heads than usual. Probably just me, though. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Don't worry, I'll free you in a little bit, Maria. I gotta get out of this stupid room. Oh my god, I'm almost dead already. You motherfucker! Why would you do that? You actual bums. I fucking hit Jonathan mode again. Fuck. Why does it default to that? Why the fuck doesn't it default to the game you were playing last? Alright, well, maybe I don't need uh, Maria out. Yeah, I hear, bro. How did I do that, anyway? I don't, I don't know what the actual input is. I just keep- I keep doing it by accident, though. I know that. Well, at least if I take, um... Damage, I can just grab this. Nah, screw you. I'm not fucking dealing with you. Learning the patterns. Get out of here, Medusa head. Kill this fucker. No. No, dude, I'm almost dead already. I mean, the Medusa don't even have that much HP. Okay, just get out of here, bro. Okay, I, I leveled up. Okay, we might need to kill Guyvon. 
kind of in the way. <laughs> there we go. Alright, where is it safe to do the jump? Okay, teleporter is good enough. I'll, I'll warp on, I'll, I'm on out of here. This is probably the safest warp in the game, right here. It's like, literally right above it. Okay, <laughs> not gonna lie, that might have been the hardest part of the game so far. I mean, then again, the, the clock tower is always like one of the hardest parts anyway. That's what it feels like to play classic Castlevania, really. Okay, so what do we have over here? Is there anything even over here? Or is it just BS? <laughs> it's just BS. Okay, Maria, Maria's just stuck. <laughs> oh yeah, so you have to get over here. Alright, let's fight death then. At least I think... Actually, is this where death is? Yeah, that's where death is. Death might actually be a challenge. Oh yeah, right, he guards against, like, sub-weapons. Ooh, oh my god, I'm almost dead already. And I got killed by the frickin' scythe. Mar -mar -mar. How long have I been going, by the way? 42 minutes? Hmm. Well, we gotta beat death, and then we gotta do, um... Whatever's after death. That, uh, that scythe is relentless. No MP? Bro, stop going after Maria. What does she do to you? What? <laughs> Actually, out of curiosity, how much... How, doesn't death have, like, 4,444 HP or something? Um... Portrait of Ruin Bestiary. Hang on, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, the Bestiary. Perfect. Uh, Death. Death Mask? No. Death. Death. Where's the actual Death? He's probably near the bottom. Death Japan. What, does he have different health in Japan or something? Oh no, that's just the Japanese name. Yeah, he does have 4,400. Which, um, is the same amount of HP the Reaper has in Persona. <laughs> Which is, I think, is a reference to, like, a number of, of death or something. Like it's, it's just a funny, it's just a funny Japanese number. Yeah, I never really thought about how hard that attack is to dodge. I hate that attack, bro. It, it feels random. <laughs> wow, death actually being challenging? What's this? <laughs> Alright, at this point I should just save. Instead of having to reload every time. I 
Actually, Maria's not doing any damage to him. He's only doing one. Yeah, so actually, Maria's not gonna help that much. Help me. Come on, Rayak, help me. <laughs> Fuck. She did she didn't bother helping me that time. Okay, so Alright, what am I doing? I have a save state. Yeah, so no Maria, because she like does one damage per like attack, which is not gonna help me much. Okay, I don't know how it's supposed to protect that. Ooh. I'm getting comboed. Honestly, the only thing I need to worry about in this phase is the stupid death sight. Because it just kind of... It, it, it has a really weird pattern. Got him. See, I knew that was possible. I find it weird that he just kind of pisses off. <laughs> he, he pisses off and the music and just keeps going. Which is very strange, but you know, whatever. Anyway, his death didn't take too long. Oh yeah, now we can activate the elevator. Which, uh, I guess we'll take the elevator, why not? Curious where the elevator even goes, anyway. Oh yeah, right. Takes us here, and then this takes us to the next area, which is like what the masters keep. Oh yeah, right. We're not supposed to come down here yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think this area is cool though, just because there's no music. Also, how's how's my camera looking? I, um, I put the, what you call it, the, um, thing on auto, what, I don't know what they call it, I forgot. Like, the lighting on auto. Okay, and this just takes me over here. So, I could have come here earlier, actually. Although, well, I could have come here earlier, but, um, the elevator wouldn't have worked. So, yeah. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just cheese these succubus. Hey, I mean, at least the whip, the whip comes out fast. Actually, what would happen if you came here early? That's a good question. I like how the elevator follows you. Mm. How do you get over there again? Oh yeah, I gotta take this elevator and then go left. I think this takes me to the Master's Keep. Well, something like that. Do you wish to die? Oh, teleporter, very nice.
Oh no, she's she's being racist against the cows again. Dang it! I thought she I thought she liked the cows. Dang, that's too bad. <laughs> well, never you can never save too often. Yeah, the wyverns. Yeah, Maria, but Maria's dubs don't do that much to, um, freaking, freaking death. Which I guess makes sense. Death shouldn't be killed by freaking doves. It still would be pretty funny, though, to beat, to beat, um, to beat Dracula with doves. <laughs> That'd be pretty epic. Razor Bat. Those guys aren't as annoying. Actually, wait, I just realized, how is, um... How are the sisters... How's the sisters fight gonna work? Oh, okay. Y you're fucking annoying. I'm not gonna fight you if you're gonna just do that. <laughs> don't friggin', uh... Don't friggin' guard like that. Yay, I leveled up again. He's gonna probably give a good experience then. Ooh. Ooh boy, that uh that final Dracula fight's gonna be probably the hardest thing in this game. So if I if I can barely do it with you know nope with with potions I don't know what I'm gonna do it without unless Richter is just that OP. I don't remember which way you're supposed to go. Nope, fuck you. Another teleporter. Oh, I got the final guard. We're, we're gonna be really easy to take down, by the way, because we got crosses. We got crackers. I wonder how much experience those guys give. I mean, hey, you know what? We can look at the wiki. Let's see what the wiki says. Final guard. They give 500 experience. They also give skill points, which I uh, don't know what that means. Which enemies, um, give the most experience, I wonder? Well, it looks like those guys definitely give some of the most. I'm just gonna have a look through this wiki, though, real quick. Oh, the Dodo. Apparently you can find the Dodo in the Forgotten City. And they give 365 experience. Interesting. Uh, Minotaurs give a decent amount of experience. Um, yeah, I'm just looking. There's a lot of uh, interesting, like a lot of interesting enemies. Iron Golem. Apparently, oh yeah, so there's a, there's an entire area I missed in this game, by the way, called the Nest of Evil. I don't know how you get there, but apparently it has a bunch of bosses from Arya, or Dawn of Sorrow. Um, this hidden area can only be accessed by having an, a map exploration rate of at least 80, 888%. Oh... Hey, you know what? Maybe we should do another bonus episode where we, um, go to that area. Because I kind of want to go there. Then again, I don't know what my, my my actual exploration rate was. And more importantly, I don't know how you get there, either. <laughs> well, hang on. Does that, does that count towards your map exploration rate? The, um, the Nest of Evil itself? 
Because I noticed, um, there's a thousand, you can have up to a thousand, right? A thousand exploration rate? I wonder if that counts towards it or not. Well, <laughs> guess what we're doing, guys? We're going back to save again. I think the Great Stairway is quicker. Can't do that. But we can save. We'll see. I might do another episode where I, I... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could just do it all tonight. I'm not sure. I would love to do all of it tonight. Because I don't have any plans for the rest of tonight anyway. That is the Master's Key. See, I was right. Actually, wait. This is the final room before... um. Uh. Before the twins fight, actually. Tell me Richter can't fit in there. He, but Richter's God, man. He can do anything. So, that begs the question. Do you have to kill the twins? Hmm. Be interesting if you actually have to kill the twins. Tell you what, it's gonna be a lot easier than the death fight. But they probably share a health bar. Ow, Jesus. <laughs> okay. I can just do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're gone. Okay, so yeah. In Richter mode, you cannot actually kill them. <laughs> well, at least we have something straightforward this time. Okay, I guess we're gonna do the all the four extra paintings, which... And they're, those are a bit tedious. I kind of would prefer if they we didn't have all this padding. But, whatever. Anyways, I will be right back. I gotta take a piss. Alright. We are going to do... I think we'll just do these in order. I don't feel like screwing around this time. Well, we'll see how, we'll see how difficult this is. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of moonies everywhere. I wonder how much the mummies give in terms of experience. Oh. They probably don't give much, to be honest. Too off. <laughs> We got Flame Demon, Demon Head. I just remember the Flame Demons because they show up in like the last area of Dawn of Sorrow and they're kind of a bitch in that game. So yeah, <laughs> I just remember that being annoying. Alright, cross time. Or not, or you could just miss. Did I dead ass? I dead ass. Okay, you know, fuck the sand. Oh, fuck the poison worm then. Actually, I think I need to kill it to progress. Oh, there's the Dota, by the way. I missed it. Pretty sure it's a dead end if I just keep going this way. Yeah, it is. I saw the Dodo though. <laughs> I gotta kill it. Well, I'm probably fucked now, because now I, now I have... Now there's no save. And I'm basically dead. And this stupid poison worm... Has too much frickin' health. Whatever, I guess I'm resetting then. Fuck you, I guess. Alright. Oh, 
don't remember how to do those special inputs. Alright, let me actually make a save then. I'm not that big on this area. I think the funniest thing is the 3D Sphinx in the background, honestly. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna skip you guys this time. We'll get more experience once we actually get in there. Alright. So annoying, bro. I guess Maria's just dead. There, get the get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I forget where the save point is in this place. Dang, so you got a lot of HP though. I don't know if it matters which way you go. Actually, well, yeah, it does, because I got a save point by going this way. Also, apparently the Fleeman. The Fleeman armor can drop some of. can drop a really rare uh, magic spell for Charlotte, which I did not know. So that's pretty neat. Neato burrito. This music's still good, though. Yeah, you hear it. This is around the point where you get the Phoenix jump anyway. So, you know, getting to rise everywhere is pretty damn nice. Damn, okay, those guys die pretty damn quick. Alright, there's freaking nothing in here. This room, this, this pathway dead ass has nothing. And now I'm cursed. Even better. So I actually went the wrong way. Oh, I found the warp too. Nice. Hoo wall. All right, I'm going this way. To save and just get that part marked off the map. Because thankfully, I'm pretty sure it heals your curse as well. Apparently one of the best enemies to get experience on is the, um, the, uh, Malapis, I think it's called. That big crow guy. Or it's a, or it's a raven, I don't know. That guy gives hella experience, apparently, too. I think he, I forget where he's at. I think he's in the, um, actually, I don't know. Let me double check where he's at. Um. Well, I mean, the poison worm also gives a decent amount. Um. Malefis is where? He's a lot higher up than I remember. Actually, that's not his name. That's not even his name. His name isn't even Malifus. What am I talking about? 
It's Malthus. Yeah. Okay, he shows up in Dark Academy and 13th Street. Yeah. He gives 573 experience. Which is pretty neat. Okay, and apparently there are enemies exclusive in the Nest of Evil as well. Like the Gold Skeleton. <laughs> Which well, doesn't give that much experience. Alistair gives a decent amount. Skeleton Farmer. <laughs> Why do those guys give 590? Those must be rare. Uh, there's Demons. Um, Ghoul King. Oh, I know. That's, um, that's a rare enemy in the 13th Street. What else is there? I mean, there's Dracula. And all the bosses give, like, 6,000. Alright, alright, I'm, I'm understanding. I'm understanding how this shit works. Yeah, I, I hate how weirdly that guy bounces around. I don't know why, but there's something there's something really satisfying about when you actually have to grind in RPG. And then you get to see like, you know, you get to see all of your hard work go to good use. I know I know a lot of people don't like grinding, but I'm kinda of one of the weirdos that likes it from time to time. Depending on the game. I like, I like, I like it just because of how, um, satisfying it is. You know, it's like, hey, I, I made, I made progress. I did all that grinding and it actually paid off. That's what I like. <laughs> oh, this bastard again. Ooh. <laughs> I think, uh, we don't want to go down... Laura. Oh, Laura's back. Okay, well, we gotta go back now because I went the wrong way. I also gotta be careful that I don't die. Yet we're saving again after that. Who would have guessed that I'd go the wrong way, guys? Crazy news, huh? I've been kind of taking a slight backseat from the, from working on Down Bad Edition, just because I'm like halfway into it, and since now we've been, sh I don't know, for some reason, ever since like we started showing it off on the channel, I've just kind of had like less interest to work on it, which is bad because you know I, I need to finish it. It's like halfway done. I mean, I've been slowly working on it, I'd say. Oh god, I forgot about how fucking annoying these stupid balls are. And also the fact that there's probably not a save point for a while now. I think, uh, if you go... I think if you go left, there's something here. We have two, uh, we have two phoenixes back to back. Or Phar pharaohs, not phoenixes. <laughs> Although pharaohs and phoenixes go a little bit more in hand than I thought they would. I don't think there's anything at the end of this tunnel, actually. Why are there two of these guys? Yeah, this is a dead end. There's nothing here, so I wasted my time. No, no level ups could save me from this. Wait, his body can hurt me when he's dying? That's fucking bullshit. 
<laughs> Ain't there another skeleton in here? Yeah. Okay, now I'm in desperate need of a save. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there's a save here. But I fucking died! Yay! Because of course I did. So I went the fucking wrong way again. Oops, I'm not mean to do that. I kind of forgot you can do that. <laughs> Alright, let's not try and get- let's not get hit by the fucking balls this time. There. <laughs> that's the- that's all I had to do. That was all I had to do to survive this hell. I'll go left again anyway, just so I can get the map completion. Actually, no, there's no fucking point. Just, just ignore that. It's a waste of time. Mr. Bones is back. But I'm gonna go this way, because I do want to kill this bastard. Or I don't have to. I think I think you, there's a I think there's something if you, that happens if you go this way. Yeah, you get a teleporter and a save room, <laughs> which is why it is a good idea to go this way. It's a bit of a bit out of the way though, I'd say. <laughs> look at look at Ricker go. Demon Head takes a few hits to die. I don't remember- I don't think there's actually anything in this room. If I remember correctly. But I'll do this- I'll do this room anyway. Okay, apparently that's a semi-solid. But I can't- I can't move, because you're in the way, you guys. Fuck, and now I'm poisoned. Okay, th this room is just... This room's just bad new central all over. Yeah, at least I got a level up out of it. Nope. Not doing that nonsense. I think this is the... I think that's the way forward, and this is, uh... The secret. Yeah, fuck that. This <laughs> is not doing that room. Hell no. And also, Maria is about to die. I don't want to run out of uh, MP, obviously. Yeah, it might take three hits, but it sure feels like it takes a lot more than that. Maybe because I'm actually trying to kill them quickly. Nothing up here. We're gonna slide. Frickin' frickin' skeleton head, bro. <laughs> the last thing I want is skeletons to give me head. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that shit. <laughs> I think I, I think in my original playthrough, I was almost dead here as well. And thankfully, there's a save point here. <laughs> then we can get- oh yeah, right, we can get free- free potion and MP up. I don't know how much it actually gave me, though. Yeah, 
Damn, Laura, Laura's pretty strong, bro. And Jackal Bones. And I guess we'll open up the shortcut, because why not? save again. <laughs> I think for the bosses aren't too hard. I mean, at least this guy isn't hard. The mummy is pretty easy. Cause he just kinda, cause he kinda just stands there. He's also weak to, to holy. I'm just gonna tank it. Okay, maybe don't, maybe don't try and tank it. What is he doing? What is bro doing? And of course I fucking die. One of the easiest bosses in the game. <laughs> it's kind of, a, kind of a glass can fight. He does a lot of damage, I do a lot of damage. You know? Oh yeah, before I forget, let me switch, um... Maria's weapon to the birds. Because those are way better. Oh. They might come in handy, I don't know. You know, I haven't really been using them. Blocks. Oh. Then I, I haven't seen most of this dude's attacks. You gonna do the weird bandage attack again? He takes a lot of damage, but I'm not absolutely cheating the shit out of him. <laughs> Dude, this guy has a lot more health than I thought he does. There. <laughs> wow, boss actually challenging me? Crazy. We are going to save! And the great thing is I don't have to return to the castle now. I can just go straight to the next uh, world. Was there anything even over here? Teleporter. And an empty room. <laughs> I guess we'll do this place next. We'll do the 13th Street. Oh, hey, they have enemies here now. They got Bone Arc. There used to be a train here, now enemies actually exist here. How would you look at that? I'm almost dead already. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got cursed, bro. How the hell did that happen, dude? How'd I get, how'd I get cursed already? What kind of bullshit is that? Bro, that fire's still going. Fire, which can you stop already so I can progress? I need to heal. That wasn't supposed to happen. I got cooked immediately as the I, I got cooked immediately the moment I went in there. Well, I remember the 13th City boss being kind of hard, so I might do a different one. I don't know, though. It doesn't really matter too much. The only difference is going to be, like, maybe a few levels. There 
work out. <laughs> Don't hesitate, just kill the enemies. Alright, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy too. <laughs> Got a lot of health. Can't tell if the explosion is actually supposed to damage me or not. If I just kept going, I would have gotten a save anyway. Oh, those things take a lot of damage from the, pi the pigeons, the doves. I think they're, I think they're doves, not, I don't think they're, they're not pigeons, I don't know why they would be. Pigeons are freaking, uh, like, birds you see on the street of New York, <laughs> you know? Kind of the opposite of the birds you'd want to see, really. I'm just seeing if there's anything up, anything over here. I think there is, yeah, I think this is the way you're supposed to go. Dead Rider. Or Dead Warrior. Yeah, Maria does a lot of damage on her own. Oh, hey, hey, if you want a real challenge, try and beat the game with Maria. <laughs> Maria will give you a give you a real challenge. Just because of the fact that um sometimes she does less damage than Rector, other times she does more, it's weird. Generally though, she seems to do less. And also the cross does fuck all for damage, apparently. That's good to know. Ain't no way bro lived my frickin' vampire killer. Oh, and also there's nothing here. What was the point of me coming here, then? Getting an axe to the face? That's one thing. Oh, apparently I can go over there. So, what the fuck am I supposed to do, then? I'm supposed to go up this way. But now I'm about to die, so... This is great. Oops, do not do that. Do not go up there. <laughs> oh, fucking Mothman, bro. Why? Why was he- why was he just chilling there, waiting to jump my ass? God damn it, bro. Frickin' Moth- I hate Mothman. <laughs> he looks worse than he actually is, though. That's the thing. He doesn't even have that much health. He's just got a massive-ass hitbox to, be, to look threatening, I guess. Okay, why don't I go right this time, then? Because I don't remember what was over here. Oh yeah, this is just a dead end then, okay. So, pointless. Just here to waste my time. And frickin' Rippers. Those guys are very annoying in this mode. Just gonna fly past these guys because they're not fun to fight. Yeah, come on, kill them with the pigeons. And now, now, now I'm just calling them pigeons. Be different. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, now they're gone. Okay, well now I know what I'm doing, so... Now I know where I need to go. Yeah, I got my level up again, the one that I already had. Is 
Okay, well now I could I could in theory do this room, but there's a lot of freaking enemies here. I don't even know if I want to do it. Alright, don't get jumped by Mothman again. Yeah, he only takes like two hits. But he fucking poisons you. It's not very nice of him. Okay, I was right next to a safe point, Jesus. This could have all been avoided if Mothman just didn't decide to jump me. Okay, I forgot how those guys work. Teleporter is nice. <laughs> yeah, technically I could do that. Ooh. The guy here, Nyx. It's not, it's not my Persona 3, Nyx. No, you poisoned me, you bitch! I didn't even know the f I didn't know she could fucking poison you. That's bullshit. Damn, okay. Man, that's giving me symphony- early game symphony vibes. <laughs> Bro, ain't no fucking way a ghoul just spawn on top of me, dude. That's a load of BS as well. I can't kill these things. They're not that bad. Kill this skeleton before he has a chance to act. Nope, you're not killing me. You're not poisoning me this time. Nope, I'm not fucking falling for that again. Okay, so I can either go down. Actually, I don't even think there is anything down here. That's the worst part. Yep, that's a dead end. So I went down there for nothing last time. I mean, a very, very crunchy scream. I don't know what the I don't know what a crunchy scream is supposed to be, but. There you go. Where do those dancers go? No, in my luck, these dancers are gonna probably do a crap ton of damage. Oh, here's the enemy that gives like a crap ton of experience. Yeah, he dies real easy. So if you want to grind experience, you could technically do it on that guy. But he's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> eh, hey, nice. You gotta. I forget if we can get a HP max up there. It's pretty sick. Oh, yeah, there's this room. With this weird ass cross. I don't even know if that does anything. There's just. There's just a cross that's kind of just there. Which is really strange. Also, the cross is nothing to these guys. I think it's because the cross is holy. That might be a why. So not worth fighting those guys. Look at us making all this progress. We're at an hour 33. Mothman everywhere. Whoa. Yeah, I need you to kill those guys, Maria. <laughs> With that, Maria can survive a little bit longer. I'm taking way too much damage, bro.
Is there anything at the end of this hallway? I don't remember if there is. There's death. <laughs> oh, there's a demon. I think that guy gives a decent amount of experience. Yeah, there's nothing in here. This is a dead end. This is just meant to waste your time. Alright, guess we're leaving now. I'm not fighting all those guys. Okay, I guess I am, because I'm taking damage. Yeah, I hear you dancers. Nope. This is why we kill the Mothman in one hit. Okay, I somehow made it out of there alive. Alright, he gone. Oh, now I'm poisoned. I don't know if poison can actually kill you, though. But, if it can, that would be- that would have been- that's like a close save right there. Werewolf time. Oh, he is really weak to holy. That makes him a lot easier to kill than I thought. Oh, wow. That guy was surprisingly really easy. I'd argue that was even easier than, uh, when I played it with Charlotte. Alright, well, let's go... What I just make a save state, and then we go to, um, the Whatever Fool's place. Because I am the fool. <laughs> and it looks like, uh... Oh yeah, Gonsia was just telling me how, um, he, uh, he's gonna get, um, frickin', what you call it, uh, Sparking Zero early. Because, uh, cause, yeah, I think he ordered, pre-ordered it or something. I think you get a few days early if you do that. That's pretty cool. And Zach's just in the frickin' Skeela Squad VC right now, so... I can't imagine he'd want to do anything tonight. <laughs> it's probably I have a decent amount of, um, HP now. But it doesn't feel like much when I'm getting hit all the damn time. I'm taking 69 damage every time. I'm gonna probably try and get through this place as fast as possible because I hate this place. Especially because you can land on frickin' slimes that poison you. It's like the worst part about it. God, I'm just almost dead already. Well, we're about to find out if you can die from a poison, I guess. Never mind, I, the poison went away. Of course you go away after I'm like almost dead. <laughs> this guy has a lot of health. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize the axe was coming back. Fuck, that means I gotta replay this shitty section again. Actually, what is my percentage? My percentage is 863. Whoa. So I would probably need to do... I'd probably need to go back there and look for areas that I missed. But I don't even know what areas I missed in the Jonathan playthrough. No, I don't want to play this freaking area anymore. 
I hate it here. I especially hate these stupid slimes. Yeah, okay, I wanna go left instead. I can deal with the Minotaurs instead. Yeah, get out of here! Let's get rid of these stupid slimes that I don't like because they poison you. I mean, that's the only reason I don't like them is that they poison you. If they were just ordinary slimes, I wouldn't really be having a problem with them right now. But it's the fact that they do that which makes them so annoying. And that's why I don't like to deal with them. <laughs> I'm pretty curious what parts of the castle I'm missing in um my normal playthrough because I want to go I want to go to that abyss place because I completely missed out on it. Oh no, not Rippers, dude! Another off another awful enemy. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could just say screw this area and go down here. <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're not going for a percent, right? We're just trying to get to the boss. And if levels are a concern, then we can just grind later if we need to. Okay, get out of here. Hell no, hell no, I ain't dealing with that shit. Neither am I dealing with this room. That room has nothing. And we get some HP up. Actually, I think I am supposed to go this way. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go in here. So by, th by this point, I think it's clear you're supposed to have like the, the high jump. Well, in that again, you can use the Owl ability, technically. So that's also a thing you can do. Ooh! Man, that Richter's freaking hit noise will never get old. Him just going, ooh! We're gonna try and make our way to the boss real quick. Hmm, I don't remember if there's anything even down here. Okay, that, that Ripper just kind of pissed off, I guess. Bro, are you killing? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, nothing over there, so we can just keep going. Look at that, we're making great progress already. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, these guys can't hurt me. But I think now we're looping back around to where the boss is. Yeah, fuck this area. I'm not doing all this area. I'm just gonna do, like, one side of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this side, and then I'm gonna piss off. Dude, this part's not fun. Hey, guess what? People are playing the Silent Hill 2 Remake now, and we are playing the original PS2 version. Me and Jose, at least. Hey, I level up before the boss. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, let's see how bad the Medusa fight's gonna be. She's taking a decent amount of damage, so that's good.
Oh yeah, so you can dodge that attack just by looking away. <laughs> okay, I remember how to dodge that. Okay, I'd rather get- I, honestly, I think I'd rather get hit by her than get hit by the yellow Medusa heads. Actually, never mind, I don't. The way she moves around is, like, really awkward to deal with. And I'm cl- you're dead, bozo. Alright, let's try that again. Why does that damage me, bro? Bro, I'm not even standing near it. What the fuck is that bullshit, bro? That makes no fucking sense, bro. I don't think Maria can do much. Surely she can't have more than, uh, more HP than death, right? Oh my god, bro. Frickin', frickin' Medusa head, dude. What does Medusa have, actually? Medusa has... 3,500. 3,500 doesn't seem that bad. That's less HP than death. They could totally do this, bro. And we do, like, what? Like, 80 damage every time I hit her? The problem is hitting her, though. I can get some free hits on her when she does that. Yeah, I'm basically dead now. <laughs> Bro just jumped right into her. Hell yeah.
I still get hit by the Medusa heads any anyway. Oh, this fucking bullshit attack. Actually, what am I doing? I just do this. Or I still get hit anyways. <laughs> Bro, how do I still get hit by the stupid Medusa heads? Okay, I didn't know she does that. That's a little frock. <laughs> Maybe Maria helps, I don't know. Just, it goes through my, uh... Oh yeah, and then I also have to worry about freeing her after. Okay, don't do that. Ray, you gotta help me out here. <laughs> she really does anything in this fight, I swear. Yeah, I'm reloading. That's fucking bullshit. Probably should have saved this one for last, huh? Jump at the head. I'm just gonna chill over here then. Bro, I still get hit by the stupid Medusa heads. Jesus Christ, that fight, that fight was rough. I think it's safe to say Richter mode is not a complete walk in the park. <laughs> oh God, no more, no more Medusa heads. I'm sick of them, dude. I'm going back to Dracula's castle to save after that. How long have I been going for? An hour 53. Doesn't really matter how long I go at this point. It's not like Zach wants to play tonight anyways, and I, I personally don't really care. <laughs> I'm just here to- I just want to finish this game up, because it's fun. Basically just playing through the whole game again at this point. So this is the last world we left. So this painting is a lot more chill though. The Dark Academy I can deal with. Friggin' screaming vegetables, man. Now that I think about it, 
I should probably, um... I should probably get around to watching, um... The Harry Potter movies now. Since, uh, me and... Since me and Luke are basically about to finish... 100% complete years 1 through 4. Which is pretty cool. I think we'll probably finish it by the end of October is what I'm thinking. And uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> oh, no, not this freaking guy again. <laughs> why am I, why am I dead ass afraid of the Light Keeper, man? <laughs> I have more Minotaurs. I don't remember what level I ended off um, the game at. In my vanilla playthrough. I don't know why I'm saying vanilla, it sounds weird. I think I was like somewhere in the mid 30s though. It was something like that. There's just, a there's just a bunch of rooms with a whole lot of nothing. Aw, oh, dang, if only my whip could reach that. <laughs> How cool would that be? You just sequence break this place? Alright, get rid of the imps. Get rid of these bastards, they're annoying. Nobody really likes them. Any uh, potion ups or anything? Guess we'll go this way. Love the whip physics. So what magic are the ma are the witches using then? I'm skip. I'm, I never like fighting those guys. I'm skipping them. I forget where the save points are in this place. Hopefully I find one soon. Oh, we got a final guard. Jesus. Oh, a guy over here. At least those guys give a decent amount of experience. Croggies. Oh yeah, right. I was like complaining because like I was like, no, I don't want an MP up. I want a HP up or something. <laughs> I think. No, you motherfucker. Okay, I'm skipping this guy. I don't remember where the. I don't remember where the. Um. I don't remember where the save is. It's in one of these rooms, I think. Oh, you gone. I forget, yeah, it's one of these paths. It's one of these paths that has it. Pity. Aha, I found it. Good. I have 503 HP, that's not bad. And I don't think there's anything- oh, there's just a shit ton of imps in here. <laughs> that's just bad news, Betsy. I don't know who Betsy is and why she gives bad luck, but I keep talking about her name. This <laughs> Damn, we're getting wrecked by these minotaurs, man. Pretty sure the minotaurs in um, Circle of the Moon are worse, though. Those guys can actually, like, beat your ass. Hmm. I forget which way I need to go here. Rock and throw rocks? I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Fro more froggies! <laughs> Who's voicing Big the Cat these days, anyway? <laughs> Kinda curious. I think it's- I think it's- 
the same guy who voices Ryu from Street Fighter, actually. I could be wrong, though. Empty room. We got some funny ghouls. The Gaba Ghoul. <laughs> what does the word Gaba Ghoul mean again? I forget. I think it's an Italian word, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a save point right before the uh, Frankenstein fight. Well, his name isn't Frankenstein. The guy who created him is called Frankenstein. He's called the Creature, which is something that I've I've messed up for all my life. Apparently, I always thought this, this I always thought the monster itself was called Frankenstein, but I don't. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Okay, I'm already fucking dead. That was fast. Okay, well, make a save state. And I really gotta piss again, so if I die, uh, I'll, I'll, um... If I die, I'll, I'll, I'll go, uh, piss then. Okay, apparently I don't know how to fight this guy. I'm dead already, aren't I? <laughs> yep. Okay, guess who's going to take a piss then? I think I might have talked about this already. But, um... I want to get a quieter controller <laughs> for the future. I was thinking maybe an Xbox... Uh, apparently an Xbox One controller is pretty quiet. Which obviously means I do have to go get a new controller, which sucks, but I do kind of want that. I don't mean shit, bro. Yeah, apparently if you stand behind him, you, you can just get some free shots on him. His AI just gets confused when you do that. Got more free hits for me. Yeah, so that's how you easily beat that boss. That's good to know. Yeah, because apparently the Series X controller is pretty infamous for being really fucking loud. So, I would like to fix that eventually. But hey, it is what I have for now, and I think you can only use the... Actually, no, you can probably use an Xbox One controller on an Xbox Series X. So... Once I get an once I get a quieter controller, I don't really have a use for this controller anymore because it's too fucking noisy. I'm never gonna use this noisy ass controller when I'm gonna be recording. Because I want a freaking quieter controller, goddammit. Like if I if I do that, then I can turn off my I can I can put on my slightly worse well, I got, I don't know if it's worse, but I can put on my other noise suppression and then you won't hear the controller as much. And then you'll be- and then it won't cut my voice out as much. It just makes me wish that OBS had a, um, better- like, I, I wish- it makes me wish OBS had a slightly- like, another- a third noise suppression that was kind of, like, in between the- the speaks and the hyperec, or the RN noise. Because the way it stands right now, like, I kind of have to use RN noise, otherwise it's gonna pick up my controller. But if I use RN noise, then it's gonna cut out my voice half the time. Especially when I, like, laugh and, you know, make noises and clap and shit. So I kind of wish there was an in-between, but sadly there isn't. Anyways, let's fight, um... Let's fight the boss. Uh, give me, like, one second. Okay, I, I just had a sneeze attack. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyways, let's fight Brawner. Wow, 
Uh, he, he, picked, he picked a really shitty, um, a really shitty paint pattern that time. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with this. Or you could just fucking get hit by the paint over and over. God. He's a lot higher than I thought. I mean, if, hey, if my PS4 controller wasn't still shitty... Oh, well, actually, I don't like using PS4 controllers, because they disconnect half the fucking time, and that's annoying. I have not had that problem a single time with this Xbox controller. It's never disconnected on me, but it's loud as fuck, so it has that disadvantage. So, I need, like, the perfect controller, bro. Alright. Alright, let's get rid of that paint. Well, let's get- we gotta get Maria out of here. She's- she's basically out of- Oh, he's doing it again. Okay. What the fuck? I forgot about this attack. I gotta get rid of his frickin' paint. Oh, and he also curses you. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, he's doing the same one again. I don't know how to dodge this. Why does that do 100 damage? All right, I'm supposed to reload my uh, save. Hang on, I'm stupid. Wait, why am I back here now, huh? Hold on, let me reopen the game. Oh, I, I did not mean to fucking reload my save state, bro. I did not mean to do that. The fuck? I might have to refight Frankenstein now. Yeah, I gotta fucking refight him. Great, thanks, fucking Brawner. Now you deleted my save file too. You fucking twat. I mean, it's not like this boss is very hard though. Yeah, I'm like shredding this health bar. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> okay, let's actually let's actually make a safe state then, so we don't fucking overwrite it. That's the thing you gotta be careful with. Whoops. All right, let's get back over there. Look at look at it wreck their like speed run. Oh, now he's doing a different one. Wow, what a load of bullshit that is. Okay, let me get over there, and then I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna get Maria out, we're gonna save, and then fight him. Hey, it's actually kind of hard when, um, you're not spamming potions and shit. Right, what is he doing this time? What are you supposed to do against this? I don't know what you're supposed to do against that attack. I mean, for one, that attack is a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Rick, they're gone. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
Oh, the, so the... Okay, for some reason... Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He stoned me? Actually, this isn't that bad. Okay, uh, poison is a bitch. Yeah, poison cannot kill you. But I'm fucked. Kind of, kind of some just RNG, shitty RNG in this fight at times. Oh, yeah, right, I can just do that. Okay, that attack's not that bad, actually. And Maria's poison, that's pretty doo-doo. Okay, he's doing the X. Oh, he's doing this weird-ass attack. With the painting, fuck. This this fight's definitely doable though, because he stands in place a lot. Yeah, okay, don't stand too close to him, bro. How was I supposed to see that coming? Okay, bro, how the fuck am I supposed to dodge that? I was supposed to duck right next to him. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> You can, you can have Maria for a little bit, and then you ha she has to go away, because she takes too much damage. Boom. Bro. How? <laughs> okay, standing on, the, uh, standing on this side is really bad when you're right next to- Bro, how the- Why did I fucking roll into him? Why did he do that? What the fuck did Record just do? He just fucking rolled into his ass. <laughs> okay, I still got hit somehow. Oh, it's almost as if doing the fight the way it was intended is actually difficult. Get rid of all the paint, then. And not get hit by it, bro. Okay, don't go on the- don't go on his side. Okay. I'm poisoned, though, so... I'm just gonna say screw that. And the painting killed me! Yay! That still fucking hit me? Are you serious, dude? Okay, cool, cool pack you got there, buddy. 
cool attack pattern. Yeah, so just like go to the opposite end of the room then when he does that. Oh, okay. That's an easy way to dodge that. Okay, get out of the way when he does that. You didn't get out of the way, bro. You're still not getting out of the way. What are you doing, mate? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I actually dodged that somehow. Don't know how. I'm probably dead from this. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. So if, if you stand, if you stand like underneath him when he does that, you can actually survive. It looks like. I'm sick of being carrying the Medusa statues. <laughs> Bro, bro's, bro's a funny psychopath. Okay, so if I stand right next to him, I'm safe. Okay, except when he does that, so no, you're not safe. Because that, when he does that attack, it just hits you. So in some cases, you just can't fucking dodge. Cool. Okay, I'm getting better at this at his pattern though. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> go to the opposite side of the room when he does that. Oh, the fucking blood was still there. Are you shitting me, dude? Okay, I can't even dodge that. I was I was in the corner and I literally couldn't do anything. Sometimes that is just complete bullshit to dodge. <laughs> we might be here a while, guys. I mean, we only got like two bosses left anyway, but still. Alright, let's get rid of this, some of this blood first. Yeah, if you just if you just go to the other side of the room, you dodge it automatically. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I'm so funny. I don't know how to fucking dodge that. I'm just gonna damage boost, I guess. Bro, I, I was fucking stuck there! Why? More importantly, how much HP does this fucker even have? 6,000. Okay. 
I don't know if I don't know if Maria's gonna be at much help in this fight, really. I got out of the way. Bro, still got hit again. Okay, we're fucking resetting. That's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, we had the some damage, but sometimes not enough. I am still fucking stone. I'm doing like 60 per hit, which is something, I guess. I can't get out of the way, bro, because the freaking blood is still in the way, dude. I'm actually stuck over in here, in the corner here. Alright, well, fight's basically almost over now, because I'm fucking dead. Yeah, I'm not dealing with these fucking Medusa heads today. Okay, very cool game. <laughs> Why is this guy like the hardest fight in the game now? Actually, the blood doesn't even do that much damage. Not more Medusa heads, bro. Get out of here. This fight will be a little bit more tolerable if you can, um... If you could, um, like, use the stylus to get rid of the blood. <laughs> So am I doing less damage when I'm poisoned? I think I am. That's also that's also a load of BS. Yeah, you do less damage in your poison. What the fuck? Since when was that a thing? I don't remember that. Alright, he's doing the Twitter logo again. If I just keep whipping, the Medusa hits can't hit me. I have to hit him a hundred times, basically. Okay, I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to dodge this half the time. Oh, I got him. Jesus Christ, this fight. That fight was insane. And Rickard is still poisoned. Well, let's go get those um, potions real quick then. There's one of them. Pretty sure you have to drop down, like over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go save, and we're gonna go beat up Dracula's ass, then. Oh. And I might actually, um, I might also 
Well, we'll see how long Dracula takes. He might take me three hours, who knows. But I'll be right back. I gotta get some juice. I'm out now. Alright, let's see how bad this Dracula fight will go, I guess. <laughs> Only one way to find out, I guess. Also, I'm pretty sure this music only gets used like once <laughs> ever. Okay, so generally it's better to stick to. It's better to focus on death. This fight's gonna be really fucking tough, though. I forgot he can do that attack. Bro, I'm almost dead. I'm not even done phase one yet. <laughs> I gotta remember that Dracula can do the fucking fireballs. Ow. <laughs> About to go into the, Dra the final Dracula phase. Ow. It's not worth bringing, um... I don't think it is worth bringing... Also, crosses are good. Use the crosses more. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely. It's either that or use the axe. I did, okay, I, I did not know death could do that. <laughs> I didn't know if you hang, if you stay in the air for too long, he hits you. That's interesting. He's gonna attack a lot more than I would have thought. Uh, in true Dracula fashion, you can only hit him in the head. <laughs> okay, you can't do that either. Maybe they, maybe the axe would be better. I don't know. Okay, I might try, um, I might try the axe. We'll see. We'll see how much the axe does. I'm kind of curious anyway. Oh, it's a multi-hit. That, that, that being a multi-hit is pretty damn good then. Okay, I'm, I'm second with the axe then. Okay, there it goes, like... Half my health already <laughs> from that one frickin' attack. Always get behind Dracula if you can. Bad moon. <laughs> It's definitely a more stereotypical Dracula. Oh, fuck. Did not mean to get hit by that. Literally cannot dodge that, bro. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, Dracula literally can't do anything if you just get behind him, which is kind of funny. Except for when he when he does this. Bro, my health is almost gone already. And them, and these attacks aren't that bad, it's just kind of annoying. Bro, bro just comes up and goes blink and you're dead. <laughs> Here's the attack that I don't like. Well, I'll, 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 I'll just hit drag kill when I'm bored. <laughs> Clearly, I'm making progress if he's doing Bob Moon. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. Okay, we're making good progress if he's doing this attack. Okay, uh, pro tip, get behind- get the fuck behind, um, Dracula when they do that attack, because you can't dodge that shit. And also, I can't fucking dodge that. Bro. <laughs> okay, at least I only got hit once there. You, can, you basically can only get hit like five times in this fight, maybe, max. <laughs> and if you get hit any more than that, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I'm, I'm, fuck, dude, I'm fucking dead already. Five hits. Five hits is all it takes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they have a combined health bar, but I can't tell. That's one way to do it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, he's doing... He's doing Bob Moon! Oh, I, I just ran right into that there. Bro, I got comboed! Fucking bullshit. Okay, they're doing the team-up attack. 
It's hard to tell when they're going to do it, though. That's the problem. Oh, it's supposed to do Grand Cross or something? That's a reset right there. That's a cold question. Can you stand behind him? Yes, you can. That's very helpful to know. Although, that's actually pretty unsafe, though. Standing behind Dracula is extremely unsafe. It's better to just do that. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I'm Dracula, I'm so funny. Well, I'm learning his patterns a bit better, anyway. And I was doing the funny four fireball thing. Which I got hit by! God damn it. <laughs> okay, the death just spawned right on top of me. How can he reach that far? Jeez. That's what I'm wondering about. Oh. Oh, that's how it's going great, isn't it, guys? Spam axes at this point. You get a lot of magic anyway. Okay, he's doing by the moon. Okay, now I'm actually out of MP. Oh, and, and that, that upward strike can also get rid of the fireballs, too. That's helpful. Oh my god, I hate it when they do that at the same time. Okay, so how am I supposed to dodge this shit? I deadass don't know how you dodge that. The only way I can think of is somehow getting behind them, but you can't do that in time. That wasn't even an attempt, bro.
Okay, you, so you can't do that. I'm, I'm experimenting with shit at this point. I mean, it's a good thing I got so used to using this whip anyway. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Are they gonna do- are they doing, um, are they doing the attack now? It's kinda hard to tell when they're gonna do it. Oh yeah, they're doing it now, I think. What if I just kill over here? Um, you just kinda have to get lucky, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, just get lucky, bro. <laughs> Simple. And I fucked up. Cause I don't know how to- I don't think you can get behind them. Oh, they already got hit. Dang. Okay, I'm resetting after that. I can get, like, halfway through the fight. <laughs> Ooh. Get behind Dracula as much as possible, that's the strat. so good. Bro, he still did that shit to me. Oh yeah, ideally you don't want to try and lure death out so you can get rid of that. Oh, we're going, we're going with this attack now? The core is, like, Kinda safe, but I don't know, man. Oh, fuck. no, no, don't do that again. Come on. I got hit by Dracula's hurt box. Great start. Oh, that's also bad. 
Uh, so that is just really annoying to dodge that shit. So don't stay in the air for too long or else death is gonna whoop your ass. Okay, he's doing his funny bat thing now. dealing with that again. Alright, I'm kinda getting better. Alright, they're doing they're doing the thing again. Yeah, it, it kind of works. So you just kind of have to crouch in the corner, I guess. I guess that's the strat. Interesting. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Hey, I mean, I'm getting closer. I've got the first time I've seen that in a while. Okay. Alright, well, I've officially made it to phase two. Yay. <laughs> And we're dead already. That was fast. <laughs> I get to phase. I get to the second phase and I immediately die, bro. Yeah, I, I had. A, I already had a feeling this would be like the hardest part of Richter mode, anyways. Well, that's real fair. Real fair drack. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let me see if standing in the corner works. No, don't do that, don't do that. Wait, he didn't do anything. I don't know why I stood there.
Every time Dracula, or not Dracula, every time Death does that, I'm not expecting it. Frickin' fireballs. I don't know what you call those. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call those things. Bro, I actually got sunlock. What the fuck? How many times on average would I need to hit, you know, death anyway? Okay, great start. Makes me wonder if I should kill Dracula instead. <laughs> I don't know. Because here's the thing, right? Dracula has 6,000 HP, while Death has 4,000. Which, in a way, kind of makes Dracula harder. But I also feel like he can hit Dracula more. You know what? Uh, starting with this attempt, I'm going to try and kill Dracula instead. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset though, so I can try that out. Well, hang on. Let's try out the, um, let's try out the cross again. You know, let's see what, let's see just what Maria can do. Oh, she actually does damage to... She actually does damage to Dracula. But the problem is she drains my MP really quick. Tool, tool. <laughs> I'm doing like a hundred fifty each time. It's like a good three hundred right there. Are they doing- they're doing the thing? Okay. See, that time I got hit. So it seems random. Okay, de apparently death can just hit you from all the way over on the opposite side of the fucking room. Because that makes a lot of fucking sense. <laughs> the 
the thing is, the crosses, the crosses do like 40 extra damage, so that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, but I gotta still watch out for death, because death is a problem. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that death can do that. <laughs> that is such a random problem, too. Like, the fact that if you... ...stay on the ceiling, death just says, fuck you. Okay. Already eating shit. I'm, I'm getting comboed again. Oh. Yeah, th this I think th this is like the sole reason why I didn't really want to finish Richter mode, because I knew this fight would be a bitch. <laughs> Focusing on Dracula here. Okay. I don't know what predicts that pattern. There's not really any way to get over that attack. I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. Do I just have to like hold out my whip or something? Let's at least try this. Yeah, I do have Grand Cross. I'm kind of curious how much Grand Cross actually does. Hmm, you know, let's try it out. <laughs> the damage isn't that bad. It's like a it's like a giga attack, basically. Maybe I should use Grand Cross, and not the normal cross. Just, you know, wait for my attacks to charge up and then focus on killing death. I mean, besides, the normal whip does 67 anyway.
<laughs> nope, you cannot fucking do that. Oh shit, I still have the normal cross equipped. Okay, I won't do the bonus shit tonight at this point. Nope, you still can't do that. Okay, I'm almost dead already. Bro, I still got hit from that? What the fuck? Beat, bro. Bro. Grand Cross actually kind of sucks, dude. Also, what does this book do again? I forget. Let me see. You know what? Let's try the stupid book <laughs> that nobody ever uses. <laughs> Honestly, the book kind of the book really does suck. I can see why nobody ever uses it. And then the holy water is obviously not going to do anything, so I might just stick with the cross then. If you can time it just right, you can um you can get like a really good hit on the on the on the Reaper. By the moon, sit in time out. I mean yeah, the I mean think about it, the frickin' cross hits twice. And it does 50 damage each time. So, of course it's the best. It's guaranteed to hit him about twice. And I'm cooked. I forgot how fucking stupid this attack is. <laughs> even though, um... Even though Dragon only has, like, two fucking attacks, they're some of the most annoying-ass attacks. I swear. <laughs> you can't just- you can't destroy these things. You just have to get away from them, or, you know, get around them somehow. And also, you can't do that, so we know that now.
Yeah, I gotta like lure the Reaper out so you don't get hit by that BS. I don't know how else to fucking dodge that. <laughs> I start sometimes it's just completely undodgeable. Which really sucks. Alright, here's this attack again. That time it was undodgeable. I don't fucking know how you dodge that shit. Like, somehow you have to be able to get behind him, I feel like, but I don't know how. I don't know, that, that was just completely out of my control. Ooh. I'm getting, I can only get him like half dead. He didn't even get to finish that time. I can deal with the firewall, because at least you can whip them away, but you can't get rid of the stupid meteor things. Alright. Yeah, you can't get away from him. No, like, deadass, how do you dodge that? I need to look this up, because this fight is unwinnable if I can't dodge that shit. Okay, I figured it out. I see, I see how you dodge that now. You have to destroy... You have to destroy the scythes... ...with the whip. And if you do that, then... ...then you can survive. That's how you do it. I, it didn't even occur to me, honestly. Well, that's gonna help a lot. It's gonna make this fight a lot easier. I feel like the fight goes a little bit faster if you attack both of them, though. Obviously, it's not gonna go well if you do that and get hit a bunch. You can't just get cooked in 10 seconds. Like, maybe getting hit once or twice is okay, but F but no more than that. You can't get hit more than that. Maybe if I was using, like, Richter's abilities that give him super armor, maybe then this would be a bit more doable. Bad. <laughs> it, it cuts him off, and it just says bad. <laughs> Which makes that even funnier.
Oh yeah, in theory, you could get rid of all the fire by doing that. Yeah, don't aggro death. And I got hit anyways, yay. <laughs> yay, I'm getting hit too much, bro. Okay, we're going into, um, are we doing the phase yet? Yeah. That still killed me because the fucking stupid fireball got in the way. I still got hit anyway. Oh shit, <laughs> don't get hit by that. Oh yeah, if you whip at Dracula, you could just get rid of all his fire, and then you don't even have to worry about it. Damn. There you go, big brain, big brain right there. He didn't even do shit that time. Now I'm gaming, holy shit. Okay. Alright, well, he the phase is basically over if they're doing that attack. I think it's over, almost. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to get hit there. Okay, it's taking a bit longer. Okay. We got him. Use my power. Oh. I love how it takes me so much effort just to get through the first phase. Alright, watch out. He's gonna he's gonna do like the kick. Bro, how? How are you supposed to dodge that shit? Okay, so that's the attack I'm the most worried about, is that stupid fucking kick that he does. Because it's it's so it comes so out of nowhere and you have to know to like You have to know to fucking like dodge it or whatever. Uh, 
Okay, this this run is already off to a bad start, so I'm resetting. Bro, why did you get hit by the fire that time? How the fuck did I get hit by the bats that time? I haven't gotten hit by it any other time. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty rigged if I say so. I did not fucking get hit by that, bro. What are you talking about? Whoa, whoa. So, how much is 67 times 4? <laughs> That's about how much I'm doing. Okay, I did not see that coming. Oh, it's time for this uh, attack now. There we go. Okay, we're we're getting better. Use my power. Soul steel. Soul steel. <laughs> I don't know when Dracula has ever learned that power, but yeah, he apparently can steal the soul of death. All right, I'm getting back. Okay, watch out for the kick. The kick is dangerous. Alright, if I gotta keep baiting him into doing the stomp attack, that's great for me, actually. Alright, what is he- oh, he's doing the- Oh, he's doing the fucking scythe attack. Fuck, oh, I forgot how to dodge that. It's been a few days. Not a good start. Getting hit by the fire. Bro, how the fuck did I get hit by that? Okay, we're resetting. Fuck that. Fuck that attempt. Somehow I got hit, I don't get it. Somehow I'm alive, I don't know how. <laughs> I 
There we go, that's good. Yeah, you're correct, Philip. There's, there's a fight with me and death right now. Yep, just take it easy when he does that attack. He did a couple of them. I got hit by Dracula, bro. That's really, that's really what's gonna happen. We're really gonna, we're really gonna fuck up the run from that. Bro, why is he? Why is he like? He's doing some BS. What he's doing? Also, they didn't do the big attack that time. Weird. All right, back to having um, back to having no health. He's doing. He's gonna, oh, he's doing. He's doing it in reverse now. Okay. Okay, and then he went for the stomp after. Great. I need to make it to that fucking phase with full health, because I can't make stupid mistakes in the first phase anymore. That's just not allowed. Like that, that's a stupid, that's stupid mistake number one right there. Okay, resetting. <laughs> resetting from that shit. Why did you get hit by that, bro? This is gonna take the whole night. I think I might have to do another episode where I do the secret area. <laughs> Are they doing the big attack? Don't stand on top of it. Yeah, pay, pay extra attention to where Dracula is, because this is when he starts like mixing it up a bit. That, that scene, that's a good attempt right there. Okay, so now in this phase, I have to hit Dracula roughly a hundred times. What is this attack? 
Why is he? Why is he doing it in front of me, bro? That makes no fucking sense. He's never done that before. I don't get it. why the fuck did he do the scythe attack right in front of me, bro? He's dead ass never done that until now. Alright, 304 HP I guess we'll have to do, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, I might have to grind, honestly, but I don't want to want to. Because <laughs> I know this is doable. Why did that hit me, bro? Hello? Okay, and then I just got hit by that shit. Bro, I wasn't even in the air for that long, dog. Oh, okay, Dracula just spawned right in front of my ass. That's real cool. Yeah, the MP refills at a really slow rate, too. <laughs> there goes my MP again. Bro, sometimes? Bro, sometimes they literally spawn right the fuck on top of me, which makes no damn sense. <laughs> literally makes no sense. Oh yeah, you cannot do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for knocking me into Dracula death. <laughs> well, why am I attack why am I attacking why am I attacking Dracula? <laughs> I don't have a reason to. I, mean, I don't know how many- I don't even know if a level up would really help for this, to be honest. Bro, 
Bro, you did not just fucking do that. Okay, there we go. We're in a good spot this time. Bro, I fucking attacked this shit. What do you mean? Okay, resetting. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, I guess. <laughs> See, now imagine if I did this on level 1. Because <laughs> if you do this on level 1, I don't even know how the fuck you'd be able to do it. Alright, okay, Dracula's doing his BS. Ooh, Dracula. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the torches ever respawn. I don't think so. Yep, just say screw that. Fuck. Oh. It was a good attempt until that happened. Okay, what if I did this? Okay, that is a bad idea. <laughs> That's just gonna get me hit. <laughs> But, at least I know I can hit most of them. But now I have no health for the second phase, so this is bad. And the Meteor is there, too. Yay. Wow, 31 health for phase 2. That's gonna fucking help. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna die instantly or anything. Yeah, just die instantly, bro. You don't- you can't- you can't fucking do that with 31 health. Okay, I'm not- I need to stop worrying about that attack so much. It's not actually that bad. Okay, and you know, it's bad when you do that, I guess. Just go back and forth, that's the strat here. Yeah. And then when Dracula's in the middle, you just go behind him and then he can't hit you. Not sure why I haven't done this sooner. Why, bro? Why the fuck did he hit me that time? I wasn't even in the air that long. That was fucking rude of death to do that. Okay, so where is where is like the safe spot? I guess where the pillar is, right? Why did I die? Why I, why why he die though? <laughs> I 
And also, I don't know if um, attacking Dracula in this phase makes the next phase easier. I don't think it does. Ended to him, you dumbass. Now that's, yeah, that's a good strat right there. There you go, there's the strat right there, the money shot. I still got hit by that BS, what the fuck? Where is the safe spot on the left side? I need, I need visual cues for that. Okay, bad, bad attempt, bad attempt. I forgot Dracula was there. <laughs> It's not the attempt. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Dead. He's probably gonna like go go with Dracula soon. Yeah, like that. He only does that like once per fight, anyway. I was too close. Oh, they're doing the big attack. Okay, where am I safe? Where am I allowed to s sit? Okay, good enough for me. <laughs> I haven't seen the the big attack for a while actually. <laughs> Maybe they'll do it this time? No, okay. Best attempt yet. Cool bonus episode we have here, huh? <laughs> All right.
Why would you get hit by that? Why? Why, bro? Okay. That's a bad attempt. You can't get hit by those multiple times. You know, I am kind of curious about something, right? <laughs> what if I play as Maria? <laughs> How much, how much easier how, how much easier would this be? Just kill kill him with pigeons. Okay, I don't know how much damage Maria takes exactly. I feel like he takes- I feel like he takes around the same. Oh, but she can't, uh, she can't do the Richter jump. Nah, Richter just feels better to play, honestly. <laughs> Yes. That's also a load of BS. Okay, I tell you what, I want to end this fight tonight, so if I can get to um, the second phase with a really good HP, I'm going to save stay. I don't really talk anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I've already proven I can do it. Who cares at this point? He's kind of stalling at this point. Alright, they're doing the thing. Bro, what are you fucking doing, you mental mate? I love- I just love how Richter mode sets your expectations that you're gonna be in for an easier game, and then this fucking boss decides to show up. I got lots of um, sub weapon ammo left. All right, so far so good.
Alright, they're doing it again. Okay, we can get we since we got past that phase. We should be okay. Alright, stay close to Dracula so we can see what he's doing. Okay, I'm saving. I don't give a shit anymore. I fought this boss long enough. Isn't I don't think I guess it's not the true finale then. Did that damage me? Hang on. I did fucking damage me. That asshole. He did- he did the stupid-ass kick again. Okay, yeah, that's exactly why I fucking saved stayed. Jesus Christ. He did it again, that asshole. <laughs> Oh, and also the dash, the dash is almost, it, it, it is kind of shitty. Yeah, you have to hit, you have to hit Dracula a thou, you have to hit him a hundred times, too. Wanna do that again, buddy? Okay, stay back. I still got fucking hit by that, okay. So we know that after he does, like, the candle attack, he's pretty much guaranteed to do the, um... Bro, how does that still hit me? Alright, stand back. I keep forgetting he's, he charges forward after. Nope, I'm not falling for that again. Oh, he's doing it again, okay. Okay, and then he does the stomp. Then he does the stomp again. Then he slide. Okay, now he's doing this attack. Okay, apparently I can't kill him with that. Bro, when I was playing when I was playing as Jonathan, I was able to do that. Okay, you can't dodge that shit apparently. Yeah, I'm not I'm so glad I'm fucking save stain. This would be bullshit otherwise.
Nah, animal is dead already. So far, so good. Hey, man, just keep doing that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Fuck, I, I keep forgetting he does that. time. Yes, keep doing that, Draco. Keep doing that. Very good. <laughs> You're supposed to fucking dodge that. Okay, we got another cycle of Dracula stomps. <laughs> okay, now nah, fuck you. Okay, apparently you can't do that. Okay, so if you're just too close to the wall, he kicks you. <laughs> Which is real fair. Why is he doing the kick now, though? Is it because I'm, like, really close to him or something? Maybe that's how his AI works, I don't know. That could be it, honestly. Scythe again. Bro. We'll see if this fight's even doable, honestly.
Okay, I think I know how to exploit his AI then. <laughs> Okay, now he's going for the kick for some fucking reason. I wasn't even near him that time. Okay. Bro, how the fuck are you supposed to dodge that? Maybe I have to save- maybe I have to save a Grand Cross for that, actually. Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. That might be a- that might be the play. Maybe that's why Richter has Grand Cross, I don't know. Yeah, that might be a big brain idea, actually. No, I'm not gonna lie, this might be harder than the Circle of the Moon, Dracula, at this point. Okay. Is Grand Cross even enough? Yeah, Grand Cross is enough to kill it. Okay. Well, that's how you continue with this fight. The problem is I have to sw I have to put Maria away and then switch to it. It's kind of hard, honestly. <laughs> Might be what you're, that's probably what you're supposed to do then. <laughs> Gonna hear that fucking scream in my dreams at this point. <laughs> He did a reverse stomp that time. <laughs> what the shit? What the fuck was that all about, huh? I don't know why I keep jumping forward. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Wait, what even killed me there? I think I understand this pattern a bit better. 
He like does a wing flap and then he jumps. Also, I just realized I think his I think his wings are a three D model, <laughs> and they're like plastered onto the back of his two D sprite. <laughs> I don't know how I, never, how I never noticed that until now. Oh, Maria, you gotta go. You can't you can't stay in. Okay. Yeah, that, that is the tell. But he, sometimes he has a bit of delay on, which kind of sucks. This fight is very annoying as Rick there. I'm so sick of this fight, bro. How did I still get hit? Fuck, man. It's like when his wings are all the way back. <laughs> That's the tell. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't even think it would go backwards after that. He realizes I've gotten too good at his patterns, so now he's doing the scythe more often. Didn't even cross my mind that he could do that. Okay, now he's doing the fucking stupid kick that never, that he never, he almost never does. What, what triggers him to do the fucking kick? He still does it. He still does the stupid stomp, bro. I don't know what triggers him to do the stupid kick. Apparently you can duck on the so that's good to know. Did enough damage, let me out. 
Yeah, and he can still do the stupid wing thing as well. And I fucking died from the stupidest attack possible. I died from the fire of all things. I'm not dealing with that attack right now. He's trying to go for it. He's trying he's like flying towards you so he can get the stomp off. But I'm not gonna let him. Why did he go for the fucking kick? Why did he go for the kick again? Why why is he randomly go for it, bro? What are you doing, Rector? Very good Dracul RNG here. Okay. Yeah, apparently if you're playing a encyclopedia only run, this that that attack is impossible to dodge. Nope, fuck you, Dracula. Don't go for it again, you fucking asshole. He's spamming this attack a lot. Alright. This is the farthest I've gotten, though. Okay. He's doing it again. Oh, shit. I have just enough for Grand Cross, too. <laughs> That's the crazy part. There. We beat- we beat Dracula in Richter mode. <laughs> Four hour stream, by the way. That was the toughest Dracula fight I've ever had to do. <laughs> See, now that was a final battle. Wow. Okay, so I find, I find Richter mode very fascinating. Because... Uh, also, just for shits and gills, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I find it very interesting, because Rector Mode starts out super, super easy. And then the difficulty actually, like, really picks up. It starts out easier than jo than Jonathan and Charlotte's playthrough, and then it becomes harder than their playthrough at the very end of the game. Which is kind of interesting. It has a more, like, unique difficulty curve. Oh, hey, look, it's Trevor. <laughs> Is it just gonna be all of, like, the vampire killer wielders <laughs> in the credits this time? Because that's kind of cool, if so. 
Oh yeah, look, look, it's um, it's just Belmont from Harmony of Distance, and he's got his funny blue outlines too. That's cut. That's cool. Okay, so there is gonna. I am gonna do one more episode of this game. It probably won't be that long. Is that uh, is that Simon? That's Simon, I think. There's probably gonna be one more playthrough of this, or not playthrough. There's probably gonna be one more stream of this, where I show off um, the the crypt or whatever it's called, where you have to get like 888 percent. Oh, I think that's Trevor. Wait, who's that other guy? Is that 8 bit? That's 8 bit. Trevor, or is that 8-Bit Simon? I can't tell. Yeah, but... There's apparently a bonus area. Oh, that might be... That might be Trevor, I don't know. I, I haven't played the NES games, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't know their sprites by heart. One of them Simon, and one was Trevor, though, I know that. Hell, for all I know, one of them could be Simon 2 Simon. Oh, and there's, um... There's Richter. Also, it's really fucking hot in here. <laughs> hey, this stream was worth it, man. I played for four hours. I played, I played, um... Portrait Rune for four hours. And I beat the shit out of Dracula. Even though it probably took, like, half the stream. But whatever. Hey, man, it happens. It happened in Ninja Gaiden. It can sure happen in this game. I played Ninja Gun, I got stuck on bosses for plenty of hours. I'm used to it. And if that's not interesting to watch, then... whatever. <laughs> People would fight Sans for like five hours. That That's a thing. People would eat that shit up. Yeah, so someday I probably will play Rondo Blood. I don't know when. I technically have Rondo. Well, not Rondo. I technically don't actually have Rondo Blood. I have uh, Dracula X, which is like a way shittier version. I forget how you play Rondo Blood, but I'll figure out a way. Oh, and there's my stupid smiley face. That's it. That isn't even really a smiley face. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The end. Beat Richter mode. You don't get anything for doing that. You just get bragging rights. So yeah, that is a cleared game. <laughs> Apparently you get 1500 gold, even though you can't spend it on anything. I don't know what the time is. It says two hours and 28 minutes, but that's not right, obviously. Anyways, um, one thing I do need to do then is I need, since I'm playing this now, also I gotta switch the screens back. <laughs> What I need to do now is I need to figure out which maps I need to clear up. Because, like, I'm, confu I'm confused on, like, what areas I'm even missing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it says I'm missing a shit ton of percentage in each of these areas. Like, how am I missing 92% in 13th Street? Like... I don't see any areas I've never been to. Is there, like, secret areas or something? That's what we need to look at. So, in the next episode of uh, Portrait of Ruin, we're going to, um... We're gonna, like, look up how to complete the, each of these maps. Or, we're gonna at least try and get as much percentage as possible. We're gonna get 888%. You apparently need that if you want to go to the crypt or whatever the hell... Where the hell it's called. So... I'll look that up. I might even do it off screen because I don't know if y'all want to see me do that. So, yeah. Anyways, this stream's been a long enough. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, I'll see y'all later for the next episode of Portrait of Room, which will be the real finale this time. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys then.